Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat, you can easily split a PDF document into multiple files. This can be helpful if you want to break up a very large PDF into several smaller documents. To split a PDF into multiple files, first open the PDF file you want to break up. Next, select the Organize Pages tool from the Tools Center or Tools Panel. Click the Split button found in the Organize Pages toolbar. The toolbar expands to display additional options. You can split the document by number of pages, file size, or top-level bookmarks by using the Split By drop-down options. If you select Number of Pages, you must enter the maximum number of pages that can be contained in the new documents that are created by entering a number into the Pages field. If you select the File Size option, you must enter the maximum size in megabytes that any of the new documents can be by typing it into the Megabytes field. Dividing by top-level bookmarks is useful if the bookmarks are distributed throughout the PDF in an organized manner, like the chapters in a book would be, for example. You can click the Output Options button to open the Output Options dialog box. Here you can designate a folder location for the new files, as well as determine how the new files are named. New users may want to stick with Acrobat's default settings, which will save the new files into the same folder as the original PDF, and names new files with the original file name followed by numbers. Alternatively, you can select the A Folder on My Computer Option button in the Target Folder section to choose an output folder for the new files. If you do this, then click the Browse button that appears to open the Browse for Folder dialog box, where you can select a folder to use, and then click the OK button to set it as the new destination folder. In the File Labeling section, you can choose the Use Bookmark Names for File Names option if creating the new documents based on top-level bookmarks. Otherwise, you can choose to add a label and number either before or after the file name by selecting the Desired Option button. If you choose to use a label, you can check the Use Label checkbox and then enter the label text into its adjacent field. To use a separator character between the original name and label, check the Use Separator Between Original Name and Label checkbox and then enter the character to use into the adjacent field. You can ensure that the Do Not Overwrite Existing Files checkbox is checked to make sure you do not overwrite an existing PDF. After setting your options, click the OK button in the Output Options dialog box. You can then click the Split button in the Split Document toolbar to split the selected PDF file. When the operation is finished, a message box appears to inform you that the document has been split and lets you know how many new documents were created. If you need to split multiple PDF files, you can click the Split Multiple Files button in the Split toolbar to open the Split Documents dialog box. You can use this dialog box to add multiple files to split using the same parameters set in the Split Document dialog box. It's usually a good idea to split documents one at a time unless you need to split a large number of PDFs in one specific way. However, if needed, you can add files to this dialog box by clicking the Add Files drop-down button and then selecting a command to add files to the list shown in the Split Documents dialog box. You can add the files to split by selecting the Add Files command in the drop-down menu to open an Add Files dialog box, which you can use to find and select the files to split. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to add them to the listing shown in the Split Documents dialog box. You can also choose the Add Folders command to open the Browse for Folder dialog box where you can select a folder and then click OK to add all PDF files within the selected folder to the list shown in the Split Documents dialog box. You can choose the Add Open Files command to display an Open PDF Files dialog box. Select the names of the currently opened PDFs to add to the list in the dialog box and then click the Add Files button to add them to the listing shown in the Split Documents dialog box. To remove a file from this list, click it to select it, and then click the Remove button at the bottom of the list. When you are ready, click the OK button to split the PDF files shown in this dialog box using the settings in the Split Document dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.